Hi there, Lai Macedo. It's me and you from LaiMacedo.com. Who's Lai Macedo and Think Personal Branding? All right, I, I got this. Um, lately, I've been getting these uh, messages from people who have lost their jobs in Dubai, UAE. And they've been asking me, Lloyd, what do I do next? Please help me out. Okay. Now, I appreciate the fact that you have, you know, reached out to me and got in touch with me. Um, but given that, you know, um, unless you're my client, I, I can't actually work with you. I thought I'd put down the nine points that would really help you if you have lost a job in Dubai, UAE. Okay. And uh, this is not just UAE in the Middle East. So the first thing after you've lost your job, the most important thing that I tell you is, remember, without a visa, you cannot sustain, you cannot survive, you cannot stay in Dubai. So the first thing what you do is go to your company, make sure if you have to kiss their ass, you have to beg, you have to plead, you have to do whatever it takes, but literally plead with them not to cancel your visa because as long as your visa is intact, you don't have anything to worry about. So ask them not to cancel your visa until you get another suitable opportunity and i'll tell you this most of the companies if your relationship with them has been has been good or average or okay they don't see they don't lose anything i have even had relationships whereby they've kept my visa intact for a year whereby i was constantly looking out for other jobs and working part-time so number one is negotiate with the company not to cancel your visa that's the most important thing because remember your survival depends if you have the visa that's number one. Second one is uh, you need to have an excel sheet with all your expenses whatever car loan house loan uh, checks that you have given other people debts that you have given so make a list of all the expenses that you have and try to bring it down to zero okay whatever it is um, find out everything that is unnecessary get rid of it whatever is extra in the house get rid of it wherever you are spending extra money membership site subscriptions uh, you have taken something uh, where you pay every month. Get rid of all of this because you do not need it. Cut down your expenses, bring it down to zero. And I would say if you can involve your family in this, that would really help. I know many cases where they've even cut down on electricity. They have uh, changed their residence. They have sold off the expensive car. They have uh, you know, sold off so many things that they didn't need from the house. So that brings in cash. So cut down your expenses to zero. Number three is go through all your contacts, all of them, write them down, name, number, email. Uh, I would not suggest sending them an email because, you know, it's, uh, you will not get a response. Rather, call them up on the phone. Now, here's a very important tip. If you call people up and you say, I've lost my job, people will change their colors. They will change their attitude towards you. So, <coughs> so make sure when you speak to them, you do not inform them that you've lost your job. Don't tell them that you've lost your job. Use tact by asking them if they know references or if they know any company where somebody is actually looking for a job where you want to get that person to be introduced and get a job and speak to them from a position of power. Don't speak to them from a position of need because if you sound needy, people will avoid your calls. And I would say get to the point take two or three references where you can use their name and get in touch with uh, this person and call that person immediately and finish off what has been asked. Do not say that you lost your job. Do not say that you have lost your position of power because if you do, nobody will pick up your call. Nobody will want to do anything to, uh, you know, uh, speak to you or interact with you. Remember this, you are defined by the job and the position and the power that you have. Point number four is, I know this one is useless. It doesn't help. Uh, especially in companies like Dubizzle, which is absolutely crap. Um, you know, professional companies don't register in such crappy websites like Dubizzle or, you know, all these Facebook.com uh, groups. But register in all the agencies possible. Keep your identity anonymous. Uh, register in all these agencies and see what responses you get. I'm not saying it'll help, but something is better than nothing. Okay. Point number five is anywhere where you see a vacancy, Find out who's the right person, contact the right person and see if there's a leadership position available. Even if you get a role as a consultant can always help. Okay. Point number six is uh, this one is not very popular, but be prepared to take on a job with a higher responsibility, um, salary negotiable, but during the probationary period or where you can prove yourself. So at least some money comes in. Um, in a way, it is not good because if you agree on a lower salary, they don't give you a high income, but just take it as a testing ground where you can prove yourself. So if you over deliver, most probably maybe you never know, it might work.
Number seven is get your resume ready. Without getting your resume ready, it's pointless because this is a document that does the sales talking. Number eight, everyone thinks that the interview skills are amazing, that they will smash the interview, they will crush it. But when I take the interview face to face uh, during the video, I record it and show it and they they're like, oh my God, I didn't know I sound so horrible. My energy levels were so low. I suck at interviews. Trust me when I say this, you might assume that you look amazing during interview skills. You suck. Okay. Because if you didn't suck, if you're amazing, without even the interview process, people will be offering you jobs. And uh, last, if not the least, is grab every opportunity to speak in public. Remember, when you're a public person, you get a lot more attention, a lot more respect give a lot more training programs, uh, appear in conferences, events, networking um, opportunities. That is where you definitely stand out and make sure that you know the art of networking and influencing other people where you take their business card right at the back where you met them. What was it all about? Send them an email and get in touch with them for a business meeting. So this is what I would suggest if you have lost your job in uh, Dubai, UAE or in the Middle East and how you can actually get. And remember, be aggressive. Because the more aggressive you are, the more you know how to hustle, the more you know how to sell yourself, you will get a response. Because there are job openings here and there. They're always looking for talent. They're always looking for the right, right person, right place, right time. And uh, given the fact that I've worked with a lot of people who have lost their jobs and they did get a job offer, I know that this strategy that I've shared with you works. And, you know, as a bonus point, it's always good to have a coach, a mentor, or somebody who can guide you through the process to create a worthwhile strategy so that you know what you're doing is right because it always helps having someone who you can share things with and get feedback. So these are the points that I'd recommend if you have lost your job. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. This is me signing off for now. Take care.